All right, you guys, today we have a scam that we have not gone over yet. So we're going to be paying attention to this fine gentleman who conveniently parked his car out of camera view in the empty parking lot next door. Now he's passing a bank bag back and forth between his hands and he's going to make his way inside the store. He's going to take a quick glance up at the counter, see what kind of cashier he's working with. Now he's going to take a quick look at the delicious sandwich selection we have to offer before he decides, nope, I don't want one of those. Really dumb decision on his part. So he's going to make his way back to towards the coolers because obviously he wants a delicious alcoholic beverage so he's gonna make his way over here and he's going to take a quick glance at all of the delicious options we offer and it looks like he decided that he wants a Monaco so he's going to open up that cooler door he's gonna reach in there and he's gonna pull out a tequila lime Monaco to be exact and he's going to make his way down that famous middle aisle and come up to the counter to pay So he just paid for his $2.66 beverage with a roll of dimes and he got back two singles and 34 cents. Now he wants to sell us the rest of his rolls of dimes that are conveniently placed in a bank bag. So they got to be legit, right? Now we're having a hard time getting dimes from the bank during this chain shortage. So the boss man is totally excited and ready to buy these dimes. Now, just as the boss man was about to start going through the change, the guy conveniently decides, oh, he no longer wants the beverage we just cashed him out for. He wants a more expensive beverage. So now we got to refund the beverage he purchased, ring up another one, collect more money from him, hoping to distract the boss man from actually verifying the dime rolls. So the boss man is now having a hard time trying to open the other end and at this point the guy knows that his scam is not going to work. So he has to resort to the good guy routine. And just like clockwork, the deflection. Gotta blame it on grandma. It's grandma's fault, you know, cause she's old. She does stuff like that. You know, she just put one dime in the open end of 21 different rolls and she accidentally filled all 21 of them with pennies. What are the chances? Okay. 
So now he's trying to pull some other shenanigans, saying he needs a five back. He's throwing down bills and change. But no, that's not how this works, little buddy. You owe the difference between the two beverages, which is 53 cents. There's no other money swappage that needs to go down here. And just like that, he got a $3.19 beverage and $1.81 in change, all in exchange for 56 cents, because the boss man forgot to check the roll that the other cashier already accepted. She gone! All right, now let's take a look at the roll of dimes we got stuck with. As you see here, that's definitely a dime. It says it's $5 in dimes, but when we open it up, let's see here. All right, clearly, clearly a penny. Now, how many pennies do you think are in here? Let's find out. Uh-oh, I'm having a problem. Oh, oh, what do you know? There's two pennies at least. Oh, oh. What do you know? That is all pennies. Oh, Grandma does a really good job at rolling these coins. Let's see. Is there any more than one dime in here? Let's find out. No, doesn't look like it. Nope. One dime and about 40-some pennies. If you know this thief, let him know that he needs to turn himself into the local authorities so we can properly have him charged with theft by deception for paying with a roll of dimes that was filled with pennies. <laughs>